Whether you are new to finding out about acupuncture or you are a professional in the field, chances are that you've always loved to learn about new therapies and training techniques. In the American society, acupuncture is one therapy that has recently been introduced and has been made more popular by a whole lot of people. On the other hand, the Chinese civilizations have long known about acupuncture and its effectiveness on the body. This is just the tip of the iceberg, though, and there is plenty more to learn about the age-old therapy of acupuncture. Question 1, will acupuncture work for any and all ailments? Answer 1, there are many people who believe that acupuncture will work for any and all ailments, but there are probably some diseases and ailments that just simply are not cured by acupuncture. For starters, little research has been done to see whether or not the acupuncture therapy will work for those who are suffering from HIV and AIDS. Other than those two diseases, though, there are probably hundreds of other common ailments that aren't cured by the age-old technique, too. In addition, it's not possible that every single disease and ailment could be studied by the therapy of acupuncture, so there are just some cases and diseases that are not known whether or not acupuncture is successful. Question 2, will acupuncture prevent any illnesses? Answer 2, the Chinese believe that the pressure points along the body are the ones that are responsible for most of the bodily pain that we feel. In believing this, though, the theory would also have to go by the fact that by practicing acupuncture then there are naturally going to be some illnesses that are automatically avoided. Of course, avoiding these types of illnesses usually requires strict adherence and practice of acupuncture almost daily, if not just regularly in an attempt to foster preventive care within the body. Question 3, why did acupuncture originate? There are many theories as to the reason of when acupuncture originated and how it came to be in the United States, among many other countries, but not many discussions shed light on the matter of why this therapy came to be. Most likely, however, the absence of any types of medications in the ancient Chinese civilizations brought about a yearning for a medical therapy that would work for almost any disease, illness, or ailment that humans felt. Even though this therapy is not scientifically based, there is still much to be learned from the therapy that Chinese cultures have relied heavily upon for so many years. These are just some of the questions and mysteries surrounding the practice of acupuncture. There are plenty of acupuncture professional therapists around the world, especially in the Chinese culture, which will also help answer any other questions that one may have. In the end, though, it comes down to the real benefit of acupuncture which should lead people to their trust in this therapy that has come all the way around the world. Thank you for watching feel free to leave a comment down below what you think about this video.